pay attention, watch what's going on, be ready now, because it's coming. Good morning, folks. Welcome back to Carolina Readiness Supply. I know last time we were here, I took you around and showed you all the long-term food storage, things you're going to need to save and have in case there is an event. Okay, well today we're going to talk about something that could happen sooner. Um, if you've watched the movie The World Left Behind, or if you watch Dan Bongino in his video from December the 12th, stating that this movie is a warning. And if you go to Hope for Survival uh, on YouTube from yesterday, you will know that we need to be prepared now. So, do you have things that you're going to need when the lights go out? We have solar lights. And by the way, these make great um, stocking stuffers. But here is solar light. Leave it sitting in the window, power goes out, you push a button, you have light. You have this one, which again is solar, and it's 18 feet of string lights that you can hang up. I hang mine up around the kitchen when the power goes out. And these are colored, but you can get just plain white. And these are different colored. These are great for around your deck just to party with. These are great. We have the inspector lights. Very bright, very small. Will fit in your pocket. We have headlamps. I don't want to shine these in the camera because they are bright. <clears throat> have your different colors. These are all great stock and stuffers. Here is another solar headset. Very bright. But it, of course, will fit on your head. So, other things, these, this is an emergency light kit. It's also a power supply, solar power supply for earphones or flashlights. We have this survival kit. Kids love these, okay? And you've got a compass, thermometer, flashlight, whistle magnifying glass, candles, sewing kit, pop-up towels, um, all sorts of things in here. Great for kids. So, if the grid goes down, how are you gonna cook? What do you have? You've got a grill. What happens when the propane runs out? So, about a one burner propane or butane stove. This one's a butane stove. Uses your butane cylinders. Okay. Just remember the prepper motto. Two is one. One is none. But three is better. So be sure you have enough of your fuel. Let 
when that runs out, you're going to have to cook outside. So you have a stove like this. You can use a chafing dish with it, or you can put wood, leaves, pine cones, whatever in there to cook on. This also, you can uh, put your tinder in there and cook. Medical supplies. What if you lose a filling while you're out in the woods or trying to get home? This is a dental kit. We have a lot of medical supplies. And what if you're out and you have to walk home, your car dies for whatever reason, do you have a get home bag? All right. We'll do another video talking about what to put in your get home bag. But if you don't have one, get started have something in your car so that if you have to walk, you have what you're going to need. Um, the other thing is, if you've not read these books one second after, I highly recommend it. It's what happens in an EMP, but a cyber attack is the same as an EMP. If the power's out, everything's down and day of wrath we've got how many extra millions of illegal people coming into our country we have no clue who they are you need to read this to find out what the different scenarios are that's a must read and if you have any questions, just come on down here to the store. We'll be glad to talk to you and get you what you need to be prepared. Okay, I understand we've had some requests and uh, questions about this thing that Chris showed you. It is light source, heat source. Um, what we do is we sell these caps. It goes on a standard um, jar. Okay. You can put your chimney on there for light. All right. You can also Put your jars on there. These are tin cans opened up. You could also put little extra air holes in there, which will give it a little bit more heat. So if you had something else built over this, you could cook on it. This would not be steady enough. So you would need to do some kind of a frame over this but then you could cook on it um had a customer bring that to us and i thought it was unique mm -hmm. well, things so, that out a lot of heat too yeah you'll get a lot of heat off of it then when you turn it off you just put this on there and that'll but be careful because you can burn yourself don't let this be around kids okay and thinking of kids let me show you if you need light and you have kids and dogs and cats this is battery powered looks like a real lantern yeah it looks like a real flame in it yeah yeah, but you can knock it over. It's 
you know, there's no fuel. It's perfectly safe around kids, dogs, cats, and it does look neat. Mm -hmm. Okay, and some of you asked about the wicks. We do have a large supply of wicks. Your wicks will come in all different sizes. And so whatever size lantern you have or lamp, we can uh, get more wick for you. And other things, just to have just your small um, oil lamps. We have the oil. I understand we're probably the only place in town that has oil for the lamps. But we have those and the oil. Oops. Okay, folks. Um, basically, this video is pay attention, watch what's going on, be ready now. Stop in here to the store. We'll give you this list. It's things you need to think about now. What um, do you have enough clothing to get you through the winter? Uh, do you have training and knowledge, self-defense? Do you have food enough for a year? Which you can get by going to the grocery store. Just be sure that you have food. Your water. What's a secondary source of water? When the grid goes down, the water is not going to come out of your faucet. Where are you going to get your water from? How are you going to clean it? All, how are you going to carry it? If you got a stream, how are you going to carry it? you got to have something to carry your stuff in. What about your hygiene and sanitation? Your shelters? Your communications? Do you have a plan? What if everybody is spread out? How are you going to get back together? Your protection? And your medications? Do you have a year's supply of your medications? That is critical. So stop in. We can show you how to think about these different things and be ready. Be ready when the grid goes down because it's coming. How can they contact you? Okay, you can contact us. We are at 72 Montgomery Street in Waynesville, North Carolina. And the number to call is 828-226-7233. Um, and that will come directly to us. Pay attention. Watch what's going on. Be ready now. Because it's coming.